Safety is always job one. And after a snowy family day weekend, making the roadways safe was a priority. Throughout the day, and for several days to come, spoil removal would also be a priority. With trucks from several local companies giving sterling support. Pay close attention to this view. If you watch the update till the end, you'll get a chance to compare it with the situation on Friday. On the west wall, the labour-intensive effort to create forms for concrete was continuing. This work too would be a major theme throughout the week. On the north end of the site, where the warehouse section will be, work continued on the preparation of foundations. With the front loader removing any spoil resulting from the work. On the south wall that runs alongside Bath Road, insulating panels were being placed on the foundation wall line. Spoil removal created space for extension of the gravel floor. In the hands of efficient and experienced operators, the fleet of truck ensured quick and efficient transport from site. Wednesday saw work continue on the north end of the site. Markings on the ground made it clear that preparations would soon follow to frame up the foundations. With a trench in place, a compacted, levelled gravel base is the critical first component. Elsewhere on site, anticipating the requirement, iron workers are busy forming up reinforcing rod. It probably goes without saying that the spoil just kept trucking away. With well over a hundred truckloads disappearing on a good day, the new building attracts a number of infrastructure changes. Amongst them, the relocation of some hydro poles. This one is being introduced into the northwest corner. Just a few meters away, the team is approaching completion of the building of the wall forms for the west side. It's certainly worth noting that already by Thursday the excavators had made such an impact on the spoil pile that gravel was now being delivered for entry into the base exposed. And the trucks just kept coming. It was by no means uncommon to see spoil travelling out, passing gravel coming in. That kept both the bulldozer and the roller busy. Of course, besides the major efforts, there are always small tasks to be fulfilled, like this one on the south side. Another small but important task on the south side was freeing up the threads on what are likely to be support pillars for vertical columns. 
The West Side Story continued with elevated walkways now nearing the end and everything going very well. As you might expect, all this preparation for concrete drives a need for yet more reinforcing rod. But it's nothing that the dedicated iron workers can't handle. Many of you will recall what a foggy start to the day we had on Friday. But no effect on the pace of work was evident. A look at the spoil pile early in the day revealed substantial shrinkage and gravel working. On the west wall, it's unclear whether the Kingston Hydro truck had a role to play in the site. But the work on the wall and the elevated walkway was looking really good. Anyone wondering about the walkway should know that it's there to give the workers the height to manage the concrete at the top of the forms when the time arrives. In an altogether drier week, GFL were less frequent visitors to site but they did put in an appearance on Friday. Right alongside the new North Foundation line marked up for form work. On the already cured section of the west wall, closest to Bath Road, frost fighting insulation was being installed. With space becoming ever more available for finishing, the supply of gravel was steady. All that gravel gave the bulldozer and the roller an opportunity to shine. Looking south down the west wall, and remembering what the situation was as the week began, here's the situation as it ended. What will next week bring? Well, watch the updates to find out. And thanks for watching this one.